Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Thronefall with me, Dr. Munchkin. So, last time, if you've been following along, we've been working on the new levels. In particular, Morwig, which unleashes some ghosts in an evil crypt for us to try to defeat. Um, last time we went ahead and completed option D, which was the Growth God, Challenge of the Growth God there. That was a little bit difficult. Not terrible, though. Um, but today we're going to go ahead and do this guy, which the snake got here, minus 50% gold, but you get 30% more points. Again, we don't care about score on this particular level. There is no score challenge. And then we need to have whoop, 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 at least the shrines online. So the question is, how do we want to play? We've kind of done like a, I'm a God build, um, which is interesting. Now, this shrines do not have to be purchased and shoot 50% stronger projectiles with require more energy. Now, ghosts we found very high amounts of energy, like crazy amounts. We don't want to also have the growth cut on. Just realized that. I think I'm going to go this route again, and we'll do that. Now, I do want the harbor for economy. Now, this should get us economy once they are activated. Now, it will take a little bit longer to do so because of this. But, yeah. And then we want to start with more melee damage once again. And for our final perk, what do we want? Do I want melee resistance? Now, there is a lot of melee resistance in this particular level as we deal with the things and some other bits, and that might actually behoove us. Now, we can do some research to help further foster that. But I don't know. Anyways, I'm thinking as we go along here, and we'll give this a shot. And as we're getting into this, as always, if you guys like this content, make sure you guys like and subscribe with that. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, what do we want? Obviously, once we build this, da da da, we have all the shrines. And so we want these guys to approach as much as they can. And I'm going to just go ahead and upgrade this to magic armor, which is what we did last time. And I'm going to go ahead and build that. So we start to get the economy rolling. And I'm just going to go ahead and build this and let these guys come in. Now, we're not on a time budget, right? Because we are not on a score budget. So we can let them come in and hopefully start to feed this. Now, obviously, they will not be that great, but we do want it to come in. Now, this ability, if you did not watch the last video, I kind of swing around. I have health steal, which is really, really good. And because the growth god isn't on, this should be really nice, actually. We took down the boss last time pretty easily, but that helps. Right, now what do we got? We got ghosts. Now ghosts are the big thing that we want to come in. So I'm going to start getting some research online in particular. Let's go ahead and go this route and let's sharpen our daggers. This is what we really want early because, um, well, we don't have any economy. So I want the ghosts to come all the way up here so I can get their shrine activating abilities. Because once the shrines are unlocked, obviously, they do a lot of damage. And we do have, and we're going to do this this time as well, we do have the ultimate kind of pyramid shrine over here. And the pyramid shrine really, really kind of helps. Now, I kind of want them to be closer before I go in. And this is kind of where I want to be. in between these two and you can see I'm activating both of them which is good and we can always pop our shield if we need be but because I'm aggroing them they're not going to attack the castle and we're getting very good progress towards our shrines I'm actually wondering if we'll be able to at least activate one of them Oh, we got both of them. That's really solid. So these guys will really help with this. I want to kill this thing over by this. 
which would be really good. Now, I need more money, so I'm going to go for that, as well as I need some troops with me. So we're going to go ahead and grab some berserkers. And then next time we are going to try to get some economy going. But I do want to bring him over here. Now he should have a lot of oomph in, order, in terms of upgrading this. And I should be doing more damage to him. And also my troops should as well because we don't have the growth gut on like last time. This build I believe is going to be really, really solid. This is what we kind of want. We want to kind of get him stuck. Now my troops are going to die, obviously. They're not that strong as of yet. We do need to upgrade them. And that's what the other research is for. I mainly did the... Let's do Dr. Munchkin first. So I hit like a darn tank. slowly coming in. I do want him by this when he dies though, so we can try to get this activated because once again, this would be really, really solid. And mine activate this on a first go, let's find out. <gasps> it does, that's super powerful, so that means when that thing's coming from over there, that should be super good. Now we want to kill these guys over by this shrine. And potentially the shrine. So what we're going to do is I'm going to grab you guys. And we're going to emplace you actually right there. I'm going to run over here. Let's have a look. I can actually go ahead and build this. And I do want more melee attack for my troops. And me. Now we are also going to upgrade this. I know it's a little expensive. And then we're going to start getting a little bit of economy going. Now there is another... Uh, mine up there, and I believe there's another one down south, but let's go ahead and do this and see if I can't aggro a bunch of them. That is the nice thing about this build is the shield. Really like it, this new build. Let's see if we die or not. There we go, we did get our shield up in time. Alright, we did get the shrine up, which is all I really wanted to do. We will try to grab these guys over here though. shrine a little bit and they should work on that shrine. I'm actually wondering. No, stay away from oh, okay, whatever. Okay. Huge wave coming in here. Kinda want to get this shrine online, so I'm going to allow them in. Now I do extra damage against siege weapons, hence I want to be in there. But you guys are gonna be in place there. And let's go ahead and look. I think that's the other mine down there. We do need to upgrade. And what I'm going to do with this build is because we go in, is we're going to do that. Because that is going to afford us the ability to um, do even more. And I'm going to come over here, double check. Yep, my research is done. But we're going to not get more research because I don't have the monies. Okay, okay, okay. We'll, we'll do that. Fine, fine. You know, be that way. But we'll come up here if I can walk and buy this guy. All right. We're basically very heavily relying on the old shrines here. I kind of want the siege weapons to get through to hopefully activate the final, final thing, but at this rate, I am not feeling that. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, 
to stay away from that mine. I want that money. And so what we're actually going to start doing once we feel like we can start to get troops online... Did we get it? Oh, we did! We got that one online. Perfect. And this is where we want this guy online. Okay, we do need some walls now, though. And I do need to get some troops and go get hunters. And we're going to put this wall down here as well. Reason being is I forgot about that one last time. <laughs> Don't want to do that again. Now you guys can go right here. Hopefully this blocks them to come up because I'm going to leave this open. But what that is going to necessitate is one, I need to come over here. And we want to do a little bit of that. Now this, I could do this, but they don't drop gold. Not ideal. This one is kind of nice, and we're going to do it. Um, I drop lightning bolts kind of down um, to support myself. But we are going to start to build up some more troops. So we are level 3. I should have the troops up here. Yep. So we're going to grab some more hunters. And place them there. We're going to grab these guys. We're going to go with flails like we did last time. Buy a few more of those guys. And we will go ahead and upgrade these towers a little bit. Now I'm just going to kind of do a little bit of that. And the goal for this wave is obviously don't lose the castle, but I want to activate this guy, and I don't know if we can do it. We might be able to. And so this is why the shrines are so good. <laughs> but I'm waiting for the mechanical guy. Oh no, I don't want to hurt them. Didn't activate that, that's not the end of the world. We are gonna come up here though. Try to help out our brethren. There we go. Alright, that cleared that up. So we got progress, we didn't get it all the way. Now the things should help with that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and build this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and build up here like that. Now this one, I'm just gonna make a sniper tower. And I kind of want to make it a super sniper for right now. Coming over here, I do want to spend the money at the research facility. I do want more melee damage. We have the shrines. Ooh, can I go through this? The, yes, I can. And does that one take me to the bottom one? It does. <laughs> uh, I kind of want to try to do another one of the summoning things just to get more gold. Because gold is a... Very large commodity. If I upgrade that, I'm wondering if they'll try to go down. Um, let's just bring everyone in kind of right here. Like that. Again, I only have three gold. That really doesn't buy me much of anything. I don't want to spend it on another tower mis just miscellaneously. Uh, maybe we just put it down here because we know we're going to have a flying wave at some point, and that should help, especially if I upgrade it, but let's go ahead and do this. Now, I want to attack these things, obviously, because I do a bit of damage on them. And they are melting. not be too bad. And then that tower is helping out, so we're going to just reassign all the troops over here. So these guys are now going to come in. And success shot of the Oz. Boom. Alright. Still missing out on the tower down below. Really want to get that one going. Now this is a problem. These ghost guys... They can go through walls, which is not fun. I really want them down there, too. <laughs> Alright, 
Uh, what do we want? We'll do that. We're gonna build a bunker tower here. Reason being, bunker tower does very well. And we're actually gonna make this a heal one so I can grab these guys and place them behind the wall. I'll grab these guys and place them here. What else do we want to spend money? Let's check the research. Make sure research is all going. Research is a going. I don't want to spend that one now. There's a bigger wave coming that we want to support with that. There's nothing really else over here except for the shrine things. Let's go ahead and upgrade you then. Like that. And you know, we'll buy another house to kind of complete the set. And then we'll go from there. This should be a bit easier of a wave, not only because we have the Super Shrine over there, but because, well, our Flail guys should heal, but they don't have as much health as they used to. I do need to get more troops though, maybe that is our focus next wave? Once they get close enough, these other shrines are going to attack them, which is going to amplify our damage. So I'm not terribly concerned about them getting through, but it looks like we'll be satisfied with just handling this. Still want this shrine activated for that final wave, but we should find out. Boom. Okay. So this is going to heal people, which is excellent. This is one of the big waves I was talking about. We are going to go ahead and buy a few more um, archers is the word I was looking for. Place those guys there. We're going to go grab more of them and place them over there as well. Kind of want to separate them out a little bit like so. We will upgrade this guy to do some extra damage. You know, we'll go ahead and just upgrade him all the way to be a double shot. Now I have five left. Don't really need a hero right now. I did get more archers. Like I said, it would need more troops. Um, and let's go down here and at least upgrade one of these walls. Now the plan is hopefully these guys kind of come in and I can get something going here. I want. Come on. Yes, we got it active. I'm happy. Now, I don't want him to destroy my mind, so I'm going to kind of go for him. We're going to retreat over here for a little bit, and then we'll come back and try to get these guys. Seems so we've cleared up pretty nicely how we're doing over here. They did get through, that's not good. We're going to go this way, since that guy should be handled. And we were able to push him off to save that mine allow us to win without really losing anything but that wall. That wall almost got destroyed. Big wave coming out of the north. Spend some money there. At least we have all the shrines activated. Very solid. Very happy about that. Now research. How many days we got left? We got one, two. We got two days left. So 10 and 11. We can research, say... Let's do some melee resistance that should complete by the final day. We are going to go ahead and look at here. There's two days for that. And... Go ahead and do that one as well. That we're going to save for the next wave because we know it's big. 
And then I think I'll use a remainder to upgrade this. Reason being is we know we have a big wave coming. Now I'm going to come up here and place all my archers there and then grab all of my other troops and place them here. We're going to start the wave. Now we should be doing crazy amounts of damage in here. This is where you would kind of want to mage though. The thing is I also want to just aggro everybody so they just come to me. And then I can activate my shield and I have so much health and magic armor that we should not have any sort of issues. This is kind of just like a tank build and I'm loving it. Try it out, honestly. Do extra damage against siege so these things are like nothing to you. With the magic armor and the extra just heavy armor. At some point, this has got to break, though. So, like, I know they could be stronger, and that was a problem. Eh, I don't know. Anyways, we're going to use one of the, uh, the things this particular wave. So we are going to grab these guys and place them back here again. Because I want to shoot that. Now, these towers should be good. They're still in place there. That should be fine. We are going to go ahead and grab few you guys put you over here like so and we do have the money so let's go ahead and get some more troops in particular some melee troops especially that I didn't realize I didn't have any berserkers online all right that's good those are all upgraded that could be upgraded maybe next time we do that for kind of the final wave to a sniper tower there and the houses will not pay for themselves unfortunately this particular wave but we'll go ahead and do that and we'll grab these guys and pull them down as well the up top portion I don't know how they'll fare I'm pretty sure they're not going to fare that well but I really don't have any money for anything else. So we're just going to call it there, and I'm going to try to help out where I can. In particular, doing the damage that we do. And then next wave, we should get all that resistance, and I should get more health. And the reason we want the more health is, well, obviously, we get, uh, we get a bit beefier with the final boss. guys. There we go. Now they're attacking that wall at the end of the world, but I will come back over here. Now they are attacking that southern wall as well. I'm more concerned with this one. I don't know how they're going to fare. kind of need my archers though, to come help are going to come down here, and they broke through, which is going to allow them to redirect, because they're going to go the shortest path. Or the rather, not the shortest path, the path of least resistance. But now the ghosts are coming, which is just a main freaking test. But we built this this healing tower here, which is to hopefully hold us. And he should get faster shooting as time goes along. So these guys should just be good. Oh, we didn't activate the stupid shrine thing. Oh well, we'll do it next wave. It'll be okay. They destroyed my... Yeah, they did. My mine up there. They should be fine down there as well. Special as they come into the shrines. Okay, all right, all right. We're clearing it out, we're clearing it out. Skidooshi de skidooshi. Alright. Tons of money. Liking it. Sexy, that's so much. We're gonna upgrade you just to try to hit like a tank. And then we will spend some money here. Let's go ahead and do that. Now I do want the entire army down here. 
could spend... Oh no, that's fully upgraded. This I definitely need to do. And unfortunately, we didn't get all of it. Because I think they go up to like 300%. That should be good enough with our current kind of madness. And you can see the research finished. So we can't actually do any more. I don't... I think we actually maxed out both research. We did! That's a lot of research. We have a bunch of towers. I'm going to do all that, and I will go ahead and just grab at least a singular hero for a support mage, because this guy does a lot of area damage, and I'm not happy about it. But we'll put him there. But yeah, this... This is our city. Major harbor, huge economy boost from all the mines, and tons of research to just build me up to a monster level. Well, let's see how this goes. Obviously, final wave. And we do the huge chunk just to start with. He's already at half health, so I am feeling that we will be fine this particular round. Again, the economy is what you want king for Snake God. But he should start dropping troops, which is fine. The fact that he goes the full gauntlet, the full path, he is not going to be making it very far. And, look, he barely even got out of the first gate. But that is going to be a victory for us. So there's another one down, another crown earned. Did we beat our high score? I don't think we did. Nope, nope. We did not. Figured we didn't. It's like 755. All right, well, let's go back and look at what we have left to do. So, we have these two challenges. We could go with, what is this one? The range god, which I don't like. I really don't like the range god. Now, the only range enemies we really have were the kind of elephant things, which I really hated on the spider level. can't remember the name right now. I think it was Wild Bunk. Um, they were a nightmare. That's the only thing I can really think of, because the spiders don't, the ghosts don't, the tentacles don't. Yeah, we really don't have a lot of... Oh, we have archers. But, if I do the same sort of build, right, I'm god tier anyways. Now, the other thing about that, though, is we can't have any units. So it means we need to go heavy on the uh, towers. And for towers, we could go arcane. We have more range to help counteract the fact that they are going to be shooting at us. And then we do need to get castle up. Now, that does not help us, per se, for the final fight, especially if we continue to do this battle axe build that I'm really, really liking. Um, it doesn't help us in that regard, but we will still do a lot of damage, and if we get the towers built and we use castle up to make them cheaper and we get the same roaring economy we just had, and we're going to get more money because we don't have Snake God active, we should be able to do that one pretty easily. And then that final one... We got to do the RIP. Humanoid enemies have a chance to respawn as ghosts once killed. That's that's actually fine. I'm okay with that one. The first three waves a bit harder. I'm actually okay with that as well. I'm almost considering doing the shrines again to just allow them to come closer. And me activate all my shrines. Because we were strong enough. Because uh, it's just 100% more enemies and they spawn faster. That's okay. I'm, and it's only the first three waves. So I'm okay with that. And the last but not least, they're they're just faster, which is also okay. So, hmm. Next time we'll definitely do E. Then we'll go ahead and claim complete F. Still have this. I got to beat Free Fort, which is I think the next level that we will be entering after that. Yes, it is. And so we'll get that. And then we have the final level. But yeah. This game is amazing. Again, it is on full release. It's currently at the time of recording on sale for a little bit, I think until October 24th. I'll leave a link to the game down in the description, but definitely check this out. I have tons of videos on this completing every challenge that's in the game. And if you feel that I need to go back and try some to complete them again with the new update, please leave a comment because I love this game. I would love to go back and maybe try to do the 
12,000 again. It's like, oh, the way you did that doesn't really work anymore. Or, or was it? It was, was it this one with the mole people? Oh, oh, we didn't want to continue. We did not want to continue. It was this level, though. There are, uh, that's really weird. Um, these guys, ultimate enemy, we kind of bugged them out when we did that one challenge with the god of the elites. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you guys next time. Dr. Munchkin, signing out.